We have uh, a long day. We started uh, in Bondo. We are now here in Rorieta. This is at uh, Ramba High School. We are uh, very delighted. We have seen three excellent class classrooms that are uh, completed to the highest international standard. And uh, I have actually directed the public works officer to ensure that the papers for payment are remitted to the warehouse today. In fact, I, I don't mind uh, sending one of my officers to go back with them. So that this lady is paid uh, her money, having invested roughly 2.4 million to complete three classrooms. The onus now is for government to make sure that money is paid. It's actually the president on his part has ensured that we have money. We have actually 3.2 billion, as I speak to you, liquid waiting to be used to pay the completed classrooms. So I want to ask our officers who are members of the team, now that we have done very well and we have close to 1,000 completed classrooms, the second scramble is going to be how efficient we are able to pay for those classrooms that have been completed. I want to warn you that there must be no roadblock in the system of pay. There must be no roadblock and I want to empower and encourage our officers, both from the Ministry of Education, that is the, the Regional Director of Education, and the Regional Commissioners and the County Commissioners and the County Director of Education, that where they find the roadblock, <coughs> they should forward that roadblock directly to me and we shall swiftly make sure that the roadblock is, is removed. This is because we are constructing these classrooms at 788,000 shillings. So the two or 300,000 shilling profit is meant for the local contractor. There is none for anybody to eat, whether you are a public works officer or any of my officers or any of the other officers. And we already said that the turnaround time after you have completed from here to Jogo should not be more than three days. Now, if you bring papers which are not correct, starting next week, the government is going to hurt us. Because we don't want crooks and thugs in our system. There are very clear guidelines of how, what you have to do to ensure that the papers are, are, are ready for the payment. Having said so, I want to go back to a small matter of the competency-based curriculum, where I want to uh, inform the nation that uh, our grade six books have since been completed and we are nearing completion of deliveries to all counties. I think we have done over 75% of the counties. The books have been delivered. I don't know if they have delivered uh, no, they will not have delivered here. They, they have delivered. They, they have delivered, eh? They have delivered. So I, I can confirm here that they have delivered here, and they delivered them complete. So the country is getting very prepared to welcome our beloved children. We would want to complete that delivery before the examination starts. So uh, at the time we open uh, the term, the, the new year, as it may be, for grade six, all the learning materials required for that class will be ready, including the classrooms. Are we together? Yes. And as we move towards 2023, even though we shall not be there as a government, government is in perpetuity. That's why we are building the classrooms to ensure that whoever takes over from us has no excuse to say there are no classrooms for these children to go. As we speak now, I think 80% of the classrooms are approaching uh, roofing level and the overall percentage completion rate is approaching 70%. So this is something we are going to deliver without any fear of contradiction. In fact, we might even deliver before the end of the month. So you will see me moving around to ensure that this is done. Forget about what anybody else is saying. Let us focus on the child. We are serving the child. Are we together? If you want to go to teaching, for example, 
the government is going to you can see these wonderful teachers. They were trained to be teachers, just as I was trained to be a doctor. After that, I was trained to be a general surgeon. When I was trained to be a general surgeon, I didn't have to go and be trained to be a doctor again. So when we want to tell these people now to, to learn how to teach CBC, we just need to tweak their minds. That is ongoing. The courses at the universities are being changed to suit the competency-based curriculum. So I'm sure you are hearing stories from the politicians. Do I look like one of them to you? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we are, we are still going where we are going. For example, as we go to grade 6, there will be enough teachers for grade 6. Are we together? And uh, at the end of the year, if you want to ask, the examination for those children is ready. It is only responsible for 40%, but it is ready. The assessments are being done. I think they have done two of them now. And they are doing very well. The children are doing very well. They are marking the, the curve is normal. Do you get what I mean? Yes. So if you want a specific problem, ask me a question that a professor can answer properly. <laughs> <laughs>